because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Joy's Zhang Fight Week is officially underway here in London, uh, live on BT Sport this Saturday at the Copper Box. Of course, Sam Noakes is uh, on the undercard, looking to continue the 100% uh, knockout streak, Sam. Yeah, definitely. I want to go 11-11. I want to keep that going as long as I can, really. Yeah, it's quite a, a run you're on, really. Um, it, it's, it's rare to see. I mean, you see people getting to maybe 5, 6 and 0 with a 100% knockout streak, but someone always comes along the way that um, the, the, the main fighter can't get rid of. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be a problem for you at the moment. Why do you think that is, Sam? Well, I don't know. I just I think I'm quite a dominant force in there at lightweight. I mean, um, I'd say I'm fairly big for the weight as well. But just the way I fight and the style, it just breaks people down. It's like demoralising as well, obviously, because I'm not the most slick of fighters. So if you get hit with a big shot and it don't budge, you know what I'm saying? And then you slowly just break them down over a series of few rounds. You happy to carry on this way, or do you actually some, want someone that's going to push you the distance, Sam? Huh? Oh, listen, I'm doing all the rounds in sparring anyway. I'm sparring Pierce as well, so I don't think the fitness is ever going to be a problem. And the, the fights are only going to get harder as well, so it's not going to be long before that person arises. So I'm not going to get all the way through my career without going the distance. I know that for a fact, but I mean, if you can get 15, 15 and over 15 KOs, that's a, that's a big statement. To be fair, that is a good point you make about um, fitness levels, etc. I do hear about the sparring that happens at the iBox, and especially with you, uh, Dennis has told me off camera, uh, seen obviously you do countless rounds and uh, it's intense, yeah? Yeah, I mean, we always spar hard. I mean, you got to have, there's a fine line, but not obviously punching, living daylights out of each other, do you know what I mean? But you've got to learn, in, and it's a good environment to do it. I mean, Pierce, an unbelievable fight, a big hitter as well, so he keeps you thinking that whole time. And I mean, I've not got that quit in me anyway, so it's not like even if you say, oh, you've not done the rounds on a fight night, I'm not going to get to round eight and go, oh, you know, I've had enough here, do you know what I'm saying? That's just not me. Do you think it's, it might be slightly different under them lights on television? Would that, would that phase oh, you a little bit? I think definitely 12, 10 rounds in the gym to 10 rounds fight night will be different, but I think you've also got to start putting the other factors of like the motivation of fight night and it's more like with, with training, you've got to do other stuff after the rounds of sparring as well. So. You think like, I, what I say to myself, I'm like, right, I've got 36 minutes left. Do you know what I mean? 36 minutes, 36 minutes for the rest of your life. I know it's cheesy to say, but even to the boys in the amateurs as well, like nine minutes, that's it. And then you're done. Do you know what I'm saying? So I think, yes, it will be harder, but there's different factors to push you and make it more motivating for you. Talk to me about uh, your fight this Saturday um, and your opponent, etc. Yeah, I mean, I'm fighting a geezer. For, uh, he's the number one Indian fighter, so I think he's going to be a good boxer. I think he won the silver at the youth games. So I'm, I reckon he's going to be tricky. As long as he keeps moving his feet, I reckon he will be tricky. But I think once them feet slow and we got 12 rounds, I think towards the end of the fight, I will, I will get hold of him. You seen much of him? Yeah, I watched a few fights. He's a neat boxer. He's neat. I think, he, as I said, he's going to be tricky. He's good at making people miss, but I'm going to throw a few punches, make it harder for him. And you believe once the levels really step up and you're, you know, you're on British, European level, etc., the things that you're doing to the fighters that you're in with at this stage, you can you can do the same to your top guys, Sam. Yeah, I think like even if you look at my last performance with Calvin McCord, like twelve and zero, good fighter, he had loads of amateurs. And I mean, even if you think about, forget the skill set, you know, like he's fit, like he can do 10, 12 rounds, yeah. And being able to sap someone's energy in four, like that, I think that's always going to carry over. So even if you double the opponent, all right, I'll do eight rounds. Do you know what I'm saying? So. I think just being able to sap the engine energy out of someone who's trained six, eight weeks, fit as a fiddle, and for them to deteriorate that much, you know what I'm saying? So I think, yeah, I will carry over. I mean, obviously, right fights are right time, so I need, still need to learn. Like, I don't think that I'm world level yet. Do you know what I mean? There's still good domestic fights to have, and then we'll do that, and then just keep slowly climbing the ranks. Surely the board are going to have to mandate you for some sort of title soon, Sam. Yeah, I'll see the other ones come out. I always check if my name's come up, but it hasn't yet. But I mean, Craig Woodruff and Gavin Gwynn are fighting for the British this month as well. So, I mean, if I in an ideal circumstance, I'd like to fight for it back end of the year and then see how that goes. So, see who wins that. So, it's all up in the air at the minute because you don't know who's going to be where, where the belt's going to be. So, Well, they're going to have to take notice soon because you, your name's certainly uh, having an impact on the, the British scene and 
another great opportunity live on BT Sport on a big card, Joe Joyce's undercard this Saturday, to make another mark and tell people in the division that you really are here. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. As you say, it's probably one of the biggest cards I've been on. Uh, lucky to be sharing it with Moses as well, another local lad, so it's, I'm looking forward to it. And I mean, obviously this week, with all the press I'm having as well, it's going to blow me up. As I've never done this for a fight like on a Tuesday and then Wednesday, so it's all going in the right direction for me. I know your job is just to, you know, sort of get your fight date, train to that and, and get in the ring and do what you're doing at the moment. Your manager, Francis, is doing a, a great job with you at the moment. What's his viewpoint on the, the Mark Chamberlain fight, Sam? What's he said to you about it? I think, like, from my end, we're, we're ready whenever that arises. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, as long as... I don't know, it's cliche to say, but as long as the money's right, then it's like... But as I said, I don't look at other fighters in the division. I'm more so with belts. Like, I want to be British champion at the end of the year. So whether that may be... Whoever has it, then I'll fight them. Do you know what I'm saying? But for the Chamberlain fight, look, it's, I think domestically there are probably tougher fights out there at the minute. I think than that fight. So, but let it mould. We see how it goes. And back end of the year, listen. If I end up winning the Commonwealth and the British, then I don't mind fighting him bit early start to next year. Do you know what I mean? It makes no difference to me at all. Okay. Well, listen, Sam Noakes. Uh, appreciate your time here at Aspinall's uh, in Central London. Francis done a. A nice little job for us today. Yeah, it's a lovely little gaff. That's why I dress all like that, mate. It took me ages to do my time. I've not done one for so long. I hope he's paying for it. <laughs> he's doing all right, mate. <laughs> Sam, appreciate your time. Best of luck uh, this Saturday at the Copper Box. And we'll speak after the fight, hopefully after another knockout victory. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you, cheers, mate. Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shot, shot up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. Win it, they guilt wins. Right, the bounce is Kelvin. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.